Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm finally getting around to doing a quick update here. Uh, hopefully the intro audio is a little bit better. I know I've had some uh, previous complaints on that and uh, just haven't really taken the time to uh, get that fixed, but let me know if that helped. Um, anyway, uh, I'm working on the uh, control audio or control tubes, not the audio. Um, here in the center fuselage, I've got the top control rod, which is for the flaps, and the lower one, which is for the elevator. And this is a little bit of a fiddle project and a lot more fiddling than I expected to be doing. Uh, effectively, you've got four points along the tube, uh, four points along each tube, uh, upper and lower. And then there's a bushing at each one of those points that the control rod kind of rides in. And you really want to make sure that each one of these points is super smooth and has no resistance. Now, the problem is, is once you put the um, mounting brackets in place, uh, it can apply pressure to those bushings, which then creates some tension on the tube and then it doesn't, or, or alignment issues so that it doesn't uh, align and it, it causes some binding in the bushing. Um, the reason why you want to have, make sure that these are just really, really, really smooth is because if there's a whole bunch of other points downstream from this, and if they're not in alignment and not super smooth, then they can so, sort of compound on top of one another to the point where the, the controls are just not smooth or, or have a fluid motion when you're, when you're using them to control the airplane. Um, so, um, you know, the, the video that the sling has out that Evan did, um, stresses this quite a bit. And, you know, I watched the video and I didn't really have any problems with any binding or anything like that with the rudder pedals, which are the very front of the, or to the left here on the screen. So I wasn't really expecting any, any real issues here, but it wound up being a bigger challenge than I expected it. Anyway, uh, my nephew's back, uh, Nathan. He's uh, spending some time helping with the airplane for some credit hours with school. And uh, I, I still think that he kind of comes over reluctantly. Um, uh, he, he may like some parts of this, but uh, it's not really his project. So um, I, I, I appreciate the help that he's putting in on it. And uh, uh, hope, hopefully he's enjoying it and, and uh, gets something out of it. Um, so we're working on putting the cross braces in, and these are actually kind of neat. Uh, kudos to Sling for, I, don't, I mean, I've never built any other airplane, so I'm not sure how their manufacturers work, but the control braces uh, are have holes in them front to back, one hole in the front, six in the back, so they go order one through six. Uh, it makes it easy to make sure that you get them in order and they're correct. Um, so it's time, I, I got to a point where fiddling with the control tubes, I didn't want to continue down that path too far because the more you add onto this the more flex you might get in the the airframe itself which of course then sets up for more binding so i decided to go ahead and get the rear fuselage up on the bench and start doing the joining between the rear fuselage and the uh, center fuselage uh, we got it up on the bench uh, it's probably the last time that just two people can move the whole thing around um, i found out once we got it on the bench that uh, I had some cleat or some rivets that I'd put in that were blocking some of the ribs uh, from being able to be joined together. So I had to go back through and remove those, and that's what the Dremel's for, because uh, I just couldn't get a clean shot at it with the drill. And um, it, you know, I want to keep the holes as centered as possible. Uh, we're working on getting the control braces set up here on the top, and this helps with the. I'm going to call it the squareness of the uh, the frame or the the, the rig itself, and um, this will be more or less in place until after I get the uh, canopy portion on, which I did get a couple weeks ago. It's uh, sitting over in another garage right now. Anyway, um, I just pulled out the skin that's on the uh, luggage area. I haven't put that in yet because I know I've got some additional wiring that needs to go in the back, and um, it's also the reason why the top skins on the rear fuselage haven't been put on either. Um, so that's just kind of floating around right now. Once I get comfortable with the, the wiring that goes all the way through the frame, then I'll start adding things like that back in. Um, I did decide that when I get ready to start closing up this skin, I'm gonna have a technical counselor come over and review my work um, because once that top skin is on in the rear fuselage, 
um, that's it. There, there won't really be any access into the back portion of the airplane other than through access panels. And I just want to make sure it's right. Um, this section here, I'm just working on the um, control rod for the autopilot for the elevator itself, uh, as well as the transfer point for the elevator. <clears throat> so um, again, lots of more fiddling. There's just fewer points and it's not a top and bottom thing. So in theory, it should be easier, but uh, it certainly wasn't. It, this was uh, a hard part of the, the, the process. Um, I'm also, uh, since I know that I'm taking the top skin off and I'd spent a, a fair amount of time getting the uh, luggage door in place, I decided to go ahead and rivet that together. So it um, kind of keeps most of the parts together. Um, and that way, when we do take the top skin off, the, the lower section of that is, it just remains in place and the, the parts that are needed will sit in the bay in the back in the, the luggage area. Anyway, so, uh, just again, lots of back and forth test fitting. Um, I seem to like to do things four or five or six times just to be sure. Um, and much like everything else that if it doesn't go together correctly or it doesn't look right, it probably isn't right. Um, but it's, it's coming along. Um, this is, I'm just running the control cables for the rudder here at this stage of the game. Those kind of get in the way here and there, and especially around the elevator transfer. Anyway, watch uh, for an update maybe in a week or so with another video. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.